quick for you guys. I'm I'm glad you guys is here. I'm I'm glad that you guys showing me some love and affection and all that good stuff, man. And I am here. I wish I can go live though, but unfortunately I know my internet off my phone is not all that great and I know that the quality will be all choppy. I know the sound will probably be great, but the video quality will be all choppy and shit. So I'm not gonna do that. And this loves round map really don't have good internet either. I don't know. I just don't know. Just don't know. What's up, guys? Lockout men in the truck on the 30 for this podcast for today. I am happy to be here. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell along with that all button for more contact, contact, content like this. You know, I should start over, but I'm not because this is podcast. You know what I'm saying? So what's up, guys? Welcome to the Lockout Man podcast for today. A uh, lot of stuff that has went on and a lot of stuff that has went on. <sighs> it's crazy. It's crazy. First thing first, I, I want to get into this. Uh, I want to get into this article right quick. I want to get into this right quick. You see this young lady right here? Nice young lady. Beautiful, beautiful young lady. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, she was taken out for her tax refund. Three thousand. Three thousand. I'm not gonna go over the whole thing verbatim. I'm just gonna go to the key parts right here where it says Layla, Leia, Whitley, 21. Jane J. Taylor, 21. And Kyan Scott, 23, were arrested and charged in the slaying of this young lady. Whitley and, I mean, Whitley, who works with Davis, that's this young lady right here, this young lady, Kenya Kayana Lynette Davis. They worked at a Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar Mark. It was one of those dollar stores. But they con they conspired with two men to rob this young lady of her $3,000 income tax refund. Now, what makes this situation kind of heartbreaking is because she was caught slipping. Pretty much. They said they said here that uh, hold on. It says here that according to the police, Davis Davis has recently received her tax refund and was carrying three thousand dollars in cash. The day she was slain. You don't do that. Uh-uh. No, no. No, no. I, I'm not sure if this Dollar Tree, Dollar Mart, Dollar General, uh, Family Dollar was in the hood somewhere, but you don't carry that kind of money on you in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And you don't and if you do carry that amount of money on you, you don't let people know that you have that amount of money on you. Somebody asks you for a dollar, you just say, I don't have it, bro. I, I only have my card on me. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you out. If I had some change, I would give it to you. But you don't, you don't go around bragging about the money that you got. You don't, go, you don't go to work and be like, hey, sister girl, I got my $3,000. I got my $3,000 income tax check. You know what I'm saying? Oh, girl, what you going to do with that money? I don't know. I'm thinking about, you know, probably buying, you know, buying my, my family, making sure that my family is taken care of. Oh, man, well, where's, where's that cheese at now? Oh, well, I, I got it on me. I'm going to go to the bank after I get off of work. You don't do that. You don't do that. 
It says right here that she was planning to buy a larger home for her young kids. She got two kids. Two kids. A daughter sits and a daughter who turned three on the on on this day of the uh article. Two kids. Y'all y'all took this young lady's life for three thousand dollars. What kind of guy, what, what kind of people are you? I mean, if y'all was going to hold this young lady up, wouldn't it just been better just to hold her up, grab her money, and, and let her live? I mean, what you guys do? I mean, you know, guys, guys these days don't think no more. You know, I mean, back in the day when criminals had a cold, you know, if somebody going to rob a bank, they cover up their face. If somebody going to break into a house, they cover up their face. Nowadays, they don't do that no more. They they all in the open to to get, you know, identified. So in order not in order not to get identified, you kill the person that you that you making a victim out of. But eventually you still got caught though. And how did you guys get caught? How how did all three of these people? Let's see. Leia, Dane, and K K Engine, Kai Engine, Kai Kaijin. How did they get caught? 23, 21, and 21. They were still young. How did they get caught? Probably bragging. Probably somebody was probably the split between the three wasn't all that hot. And one of them got pissed off because they didn't get an even split. Because don't forget, they had to split that with two other dudes. It was five people that was involved in this young lady's murder. Five. Three thousand dollars. Divided by three or divided by five. Somebody wasn't happy with they cut. Somebody must have not been happy with they cut. I'm just saying. Five people, three thousand dollars. That's only six hundred dollars a piece. So in in other in in terms, y'all killed this lady for six hundred dollars. And for what? Well, what? Now her kids is not going to grow up without a mom. And you guys, 21, 21, and 23, is going to spend the rest of y'all lives in jail, in prison. Y'all haven't even started to live yet. Y'all haven't even started to live yet. And y'all, y'all took this young lady's life. Y'all took her life. And for what? And for what? Now, I know some of you guys could come on and say, hey, you know, maybe if she didn't brag or maybe she didn't say anything or 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 whatever the case, she would probably still be alive today. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, if you're walking around with that kind of money, you don't let nobody know that you got that kind of money. If you if you like me and come from the old school, you don't floss. Now, I know a lot of guys like to floss their money when they get rich, when they get money. I know they like to floss, but I don't. Hmm. I don't floss. You know, that's the same thing about these guys that, that hit the lottery. And the first thing they do, they, they take the picture with the check and the cheese, the ear to ear and all like that. But you, you got people that's planning your downfall. You don't know who your, you, you don't know who your friends are. She, she must have thought her coworkers was her friends and thought that, hey, I'll go ahead and let them know, yada, yada, yada. Maybe they was jealous. I mean, 
I don't know how you got a three thousand dollar refund check working at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar. You know, earn in, earn income credit. She got two kids, so that's that's earn income credit right there. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, maybe. Maybe she worked it hard. Maybe she was a hard worker. Maybe maybe she outshined those workers. And they got jealous. And th- those three ladies decided to get two dudes to come in and and, to rob, and and rob and kill this young lady over $600. That's five th- that's $3,000 divided by 5. It's a damn shame. And they got caught, too. (laughs) They got caught. (laughs) They got caught, man. Gold Ducky says says it better. This, This guy right here says it's better. That is why you always keep your business to yourself, especially information about your finances. This is truly heartbreaking for this woman, for this woman's two young daughters. I can't, but Michael says there are people out there who are willing to kill for less than three, for three G's. And it doesn't matter what color you are. Purple Rocket says, stop telling people what you're going to, I mean, what you got on you. Nobody can be trusted. Purple Clover says her sister has posted the truth of the event. She didn't tell anyone anything. That's that trash co-worker was spying on the victim when her mom gave her the money in the parking lot. It's sad, sad, sad situation. Sad situation. If you if if you're gonna get if you're gonna receive if you're gonna get that kind of mom, I want to ask you if if that is true, mom, if that is true, why didn't you just wait until your daughter came home and you could have gave her the money then? If that was the truth. That she gave it to her in the parking lot. Because people be spying. The people that you don't think watching is watching. That's why everything on this YouTube shit right here, everything on this YouTube, people listen. People watch. You you over here fronting. You over here showing off, showing that money. You know, you on Facebook taking pictures of the money in your truck and all like that. This is how we roll over here. You know, we got bands over here. This is what I make in a week. You know, showing that. Now, I know some of them is 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 supposed to be like, you know, letting people know of what you can actually make in trucking. But that type of information is not for other people to know. Now, I know some of you guys show y'all checks, y'all check stubs, what y'all get. What you you want to show and educate. I get it. Me, I don't do that. I'm sorry. I don't do that. I, 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 I get a good paycheck. That's, that's all I can tell you. How much I'm getting, I can't tell you how much I'm getting. I get, I, I, my paychecks be good sometimes. And then I get them Burger King paychecks sometimes. But I, I can't tell you how much I'm making, bruh. That's that's only for me to know. Now, I can tell you what's the average out here. The average is about a grand a week. Between 1200 to a grand a week. That's the average. That's what you can average out here. But I can't tell you how much I'm making. So, don't. Floss is a lot of people getting hurt on the, over this social media thing. And to the mom, like I said, if that was true, that you gave your that you gave your baby girl that money in the parking lot, why didn't you wait until she got home?
Don't let people know your business, people. All right? Don't let, don't let people know your business. Soon, soon as that money, soon as that IRS money comes, make sure it goes into the bank and keep your card on you. That's all I got. I got, I got credit card. Credit card. That's, that's it. I got my credit cards. That's all I got out here. I don't have no card. I don't have no cash. I don't have no cash. None. I credit cards. That's it. All my money, all my money go direct deposit. If I don't have no money in the bank, I got my credit cards for the backup. I don't have no money. I'm sorry, bro. I, if I had some money for you, I would give it to you. If I had a couple of dollars for you, I would give it to you, bro. I see you out here. I, I see you out here starving. I see it. I'm hurt. What? Come with me, and I could I could get you a burger. I can get you something to eat. That that's the only thing that I can get for you right now, man. Because I can't. I don't have no money. I don't keep no money on me. I don't floss. I don't do none of that. I got my phone, keys, and my wallet. I lock my truck, keep my truck locked, because I, I don't have nothing to value. And the valuable stuff that I do got is insured, so if you want it, here. I'm sure she, I'm sure she would have gave him, gave him that money. Sad. Sad, man. Something to think about. You know, you know what's you know what's funny? Bad drivers, <laughs> bad truck drivers. <laughs> I, I I get all these videos, these posts, in in these Facebook groups that I'm in, and a lot and a lot of them be talking smack. You know, I don't know why they do that, how they do that, and I wouldn't do that, and such so forth and so so on. But bad drivers give truck driving a bad name, a bad look, a bad look for us truck drivers. Check out, check out this truck driver. Right hey, you mad, bro? Hell yeah, man! What? I put my job on this shit. <laughs> what happened? Man, the goddamn bridge. That bridge right there, shit. California, man. Welcome to Chicago, bro. Fuck Chicago. <laughs> fuck Chicago. Fuck Chicago. <laughs> My man say fuck Chicago. Fuck Chicago. <laughs> hold on, right quick. He said, hold up, hold on. I, I, I said, fuck Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, fuck Chicago, man. Fuck Chicago. Uh-oh. Uh, wait. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. Hey. hey, hey. You mad, bro? Hell yeah, hey, man. I'm right. my job on this shit. <laughs> what happened? The goddamn bridge. That bridge right there, California, man. Welcome to Chicago, bro. Fuck Chicago. <laughs> fuck Chicago. <laughs> he said, fuck Chicago, man. Fuck Chicago. <laughs> uh, is he a bad driver? Fuck Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a bad driver? Fuck. He got I, <laughs> I mean, he would have known coming through that bridge, right? Fuck. I <laughs> Let me see about. Damn, I can't. Even, I can't even get that bridge up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at that, right there. Man. You mad, bro? Hell yeah, man! What? I do my job on this shit. <laughs> what happened? That bridge. That, bridge. that bridge right there. <laughs> that bridge right there, man. <laughs> Is that a bad driver? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, what about this driver right here? What about what about this one? Hold on. Whoops. 
Here we go. What about what about this driver right here? What about this driver? Now you 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 would think he'll make it though, right? Fuck the guy, no. <laughs> you think he'll make it? You 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 think he's gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? Are you gonna make it, bruh? Bruh, you gonna make it? I I don't think you're gonna make it, bruh. Fuck the guy, bruh, no. I, I don't think you're gonna make it. Boom. There it is. There it is, right there, right there. All right, okay, all right. Well, let's see. I'm not in bad spot. Let me let me just uh let me just back it up. Let me just back it up the way I turned it. Let me let me back it up. Okay, okay. Now see, we got a problem. The truck's not turning. Fuck it's sliding. <laughs> Boop. Right there. He, he's he's pretty much done. Are you gonna pull forward? Come on, pull forward, pull forward. Fuck Come on, God, no. <laughs> here we go. And try it again. One more time. If 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 I could give it some juice, if I could give it some juice, I can get it. Yeah, he he's done. <laughs> yeah, he, he he's done. Is he a bad driver? Is he a bad driver? What about what about this driver right here? How about this one? <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't think I don't think they heard anything. Let's see that again. Too bad I can't slow it down. Damn. Too bad I can't slow it down. But let me ask you this: What do you what do you guys think about this car right here, though? Maybe he didn't know. Maybe he didn't see it. But I would have probably been paying attention, and I would have seen that that tube or whatever that is coming. Yeah, I, I would have got out of the way. Boom. And it's taking the car right around the corner. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that, man. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Is he a bad driver? Is he a bad driver? Let let me know in the comments. I need to know. I need to know. Do do these drivers give truck driving a bad name? What about what about this one right here? Well, what about this? One? Now there's a train coming. Green light coming. But check this out though. Check this out. I'm about, I'm fast forwarding it. They got they got they got a backhoe to get this bad boy out of here. Me. Across the set of railroad tracks. Here we go. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, the backhoe is doing it. Check it out. Look at, Look at the backhoe. Holy fuck. Wow. That's crazy. Look at that. 
That motherfucker. Look at this thing trying to get it up over the bank. Damn. You know what? We, we, we don't need the commentary, bro. We don't need the commentary. I'll do all the commentary over here. But look at that backhoe. That backhoe did the damn thing. Look at that. And he was lucky. He was lucky. That guy right there. The next one, the next one, not so lucky. Let me see if this is it. Is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. Oh, shit. This one, not so lucky. So this truck got stuck yeah. on the railroad. Now the railroad things are coming. Here he comes. Right here. Bam! Holy fuck. Yeah, what I tell you, bro? We don't need no commentary from you, man. We don't need it. We don't need it. Let me rewind that. Yep. He wasn't so lucky. I don't... He wasn't so lucky. How the hell you manage to get stuck on the train? Not a good look, bro. Not a good look. Does drivers like these give drivers, I mean, give uh, truck driving a bad name? Does it give us a bad name? I don't know. Guys, leave it in the comments below. Let, let me know. Let me know, do those drivers give truck driving a bad name bad drivers you know there there are some good drivers out here there are a million mile drivers that there are drivers what i say million mile drivers that that never got into an accident now i can't say that i never got into an accident yours truly has gotten into an accident you know has gotten into an accident a few times i only had like one preventable accident that was that that was traffic related now i have had preventable accidents you know i i ran into that um that fire hydrant up in up in minnesota which it was covered in grass and i didn't see it that was a preventable that was one uh i i ran i ran past the gate over here where i'm at now that was a preventable i didn't see it that was a preventable yeah, I got in trouble. I, I got in trouble. You know, I figured I, I figured that I would give my 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 uh, my safety director the report versus getting it from the company because all they was go all they was gonna do is just put that little guard that little guard beam. All they gonna do is just slide it back up into the thing and tighten it up. But. I, I took the initiative and I was like, look, I owned up to it. I'm not trying to hide it. Suppose, suppose that shipper was to send that paperwork on me and I didn't say nothing about it to my safety director. I would have been in, I would have been in worse trouble than what I was. But I own up to my situation. But do that make me a bad driver, though? Do I do stuff like that, like like this here, like like not paying attention? You know, you you're not even supposed to pull all the way on the train track anyway. You're supposed to at least wait, especially when you see the train lights on anyway. What he was doing? What he was doing? Y'all tell me. Leave it in the comments below, man. I'm not done. I'm not done. There is some stupid, some way stupid people. And I'm and they come in all shapes and sizes. And they do stuff like for the gram. They do stuff for attention. They do stuff for shock value. They do stuff for views. They do stupid shit. I ain't worried about the cap in the like comments. This. They know everything we do is real. Say no game. That cheese, gotta put a little bit. You gotta spread that cheese, though. You know I mean? you gotta make it look good. I swear to God. All right, here we go. 
So, a little bit of mustard. You know what I mean? You gotta have that mustardino on it. You know what I mean? Mustardino. <laughs> Okay, you Woo! guys see. There we go. You, you guys see. Oh, what now it that's says, what I right? call a dog shit sandwich, dog. Let's do it. Go get the trash can, man. Please go grab the seat, dog. Man, I hope you don't bail us. Shit, I hope I don't need it, honestly. Ain't nothing easy now, now. You do know it's some poor folks in the world. Okay, bruh. Poor folks do not eat shit. Poor folks don't eat shit. Now, I know there's some people in the world that that's like on hard times, but. Bruh. Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. What the hell is wrong with these people today? No, I'm not going to show the rest of that video. I ain't going to show the rest of that video that that dude eating it. If y'all want to see the rest of that video, it's on Facebook somewhere. That's how I found it. It's on Facebook. He, I, I'll play. I'll play a little bit when he was putting the putting. Have that mustardino on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Really, nigga? <laughs> oh, man. Where these people come from? Tell me where these people come from, man. Where, where do they come from? <laughs> they gotta come from somewhere. Oh, my God. They got to come from somewhere. That's what I call a dog shit now, sandwich, dog. I got a, I got one, another, another video right here. This man right here want to know how you could fuck up a PC. All right. Now, for those of you that don't know, PC is personal conveyance. Personal conveyance is we can use the truck on our personal time. That's what personal convenience is. <laughs> if if we're at a truck stop and we want to go, we we want to go, uh, say like me, I want to go to Planet Fitness, which is about five miles down the road. I could PC down there. I'm only going five miles down the road. PC for some companies is is like you know you use it if. You need it. Like, if you run out of hours and you need to find a safe haven, you could PC. Back then, they, back then, you couldn't. You literally had to shut the truck down where you was at when you ran out of hours. But now it's lightweight lenient because we can PC to where we need to go. Say, like, you home, if you're at home and you want to go to a movie or you want to go to grocery shopping for your truck or whatever, you can PC. Put it in personal conveyance. Do what all you need to do. Back then, you would have to come back to where you started your PC. But now you don't have to. See, the only thing is you don't have you 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 cannot advance the load to the shipper and or receiver. But but you can you can use your PC to. To find to find uh, adequate parking, he want to know how can you fuck up a PC though. You can, I mean, you know, some drivers do take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? But as long as you, as long as you, basically let DOT know what you was doing at the time of personal conveyance, you won't get in trouble. Hey, I. I, I, I type in there, I went to Walmart, or I went to breakfast, or I went to lunch, dinner. Uh, let's say you get stuck at a shipper and you run out of time. 
and the, and and the shipper comes outside and be like, "Yo, bro, you gotta pack up your shit and leave." But I'm out of hours, man. I I can't move my truck. No, you 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 can't be here. You gotta go. You gotta go. All right, fine. So go in the PC. Let them know you have to move the truck because you can't stay. Now let's say that the the next truck stop or the next state safe safe haven haven ain't not, about a about an hour away. You can PC. PC down the way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just don't fuck it up though. You know what I'm saying? How can you fuck up a PC though? Leave that in the comments below. Let me know how the hell you can fuck up a PC. You know, just just don't do it. Don't mess it up. Don't don't mess it up, man. <sighs> well, that's 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 probably it for uh for the podcast for today. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you guys coming on, hanging out with me and everything, you know, just chilling. If you guys want to come on and hang out with me, yo, hit me up in the Gmail, LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up on the DM at LockoutMen. A lot of you guys can find me there. Um, come on over to Facebook, you know, LockoutMen makes the call or LockoutMen page. You can find me there, too. If you guys want to come on and share your experience with me, chop it up with me or anything like that, get at me. I'm open. I do interviews with truck drivers all the time. I do interviews with recruiters. I do, I, I, I chop it up with people, you know. I bring them on the show and we talk about topics or whatever. Let me know. Let, let me know what you guys want to do. You know what I'm saying? And then we, we'll get at it. All right? It's some good shit. I had to go back to uh, drinking tea. This don't have no sugars at all. I, I talked to my man, B's Knees Trucking. You know, he's that healthy truck driver. Be on the lookout for that interview. or It should already be posted. So check out, you know, how, how he stay healthy on the truck. I told him I was drinking a lot of Gatorade, which which I have been, but... I've been drinking a lot and I realized, you know, between him and other people telling me that there is artificial sweeteners in those drinks. Even though it says zero, you know, Gatorade zero, Powerade zero is still artificial sweeteners in that drink. So I had to I, I had to cut back on it and get back on my tea and water regimen. You know what I'm saying? Later on the night, uh, I can drop I can drop the trailer here. And head over to Planet Fitness right quick, and you know, you get it in at the at the at the at the Planet Fitness. I think that's what I'll do after I do this podcast, though. You know, I got to get my people out the way first, right? I got to get my people out the way first. All right, so I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for coming on and hanging out with me. I'm about to go. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace, blessings, and love. And I'm out.